What's going on, champs and champettes? It's FireMonkey here, and welcome back to another Fortnite channel YouTube video. Now, in today's YouTube video, we'll be recapping all the information we kind of touched on a little bit yesterday regarding the upcoming Fortnite Uncharted collaboration, including reshowing the trailer, you know, going more in depth on what some of the items may look like, and much, much more. So, without further ado, in case you didn't see that trailer yesterday, let's go ahead and show it on screen right now. That's right, based on the Uncharted film by Sony Pictures and the video game franchise by PlayStation's Naughty Dog Studios, Nathan Drake and Chloe Frazier are both going to be dropping onto the Fortnite island to stash a different kind of loot in the near future. Now, there's a lot to talk about here, so let's break it down firstly by talking about the skins. And now, in that trailer, you may have actually felt like there was going to be a total of four skins with two Nathan Drake outfits and two Chloe Frazier outfits. However, I am glad to announce that that is not going to be the case. The reason for this is because the Nathan Drake outfit will have its default style being related to the movie, you know, using Tom Holland's face, but it will also have a style related to the actual video game, specifically Uncharted 4 A Thief's End, where you can play as the video game version of Nathan Drake. And similarly with Chloe Frazier, you will have two movie styles and one video game style. The two movie styles are going to be, you know, the default one you can get, the no jacket version of from the movie, and then for the video game style, it's going to be based around the video game Uncharted the Lost Legacy. So yeah, instead of having to buy four different skins or two if you only wanted a movie version or if you wanted a video game version, the video game versions and the movie versions are going to be combined into the exact same skin. And now regarding back blings, as of right now, it does not appear that the Nathan Drake outfit will have a back bling. However, Chloe Frazier will have a back bling called Chloe's Pack. So we will be able to get a back bling with one of the skins. However, if Nathan Drake gets one, it's currently not confirmed and we haven't seen any signs of of that actually coming to the game. But all that information is pretty much a recap of what I talked about in yesterday's YouTube video. However, something I didn't really mention in Showcase is what both of the pickaxes might actually look like, because there's going to be two pickaxes a part of this collab, what the glider looks like, and, you know, just going a little bit more in depth on the whole entire situation. So without further ado, let's start off by talking about the pickaxes. Firstly, we have the secondhand saber pickaxe, which is actually going to be Nathan's sword. This has the following description. The tetanus is just as intimidating as the blade. Now, based on, you know, one of my friends who actually plays the Uncharted franchise and is big into the video game side of stuff, they think that this is actually going to be the following pickaxe you can see on screen right now from the actual Uncharted games. And it actually makes sense and matches up since, you know, it's going to be a blade, it's a hand saber, but also it mentions tetanus, and it is a pretty rusty blade, so it practically matches up one to one. However, for the second one, we have the Parashiruma Axe. Now, this is going to be a actual you know, axe type thing, and it's most likely going to be the one you can see on screen right now. This description simply states that it's even sharper than it looks, and according to my friend, this might actually be closed pickaxe. So, you know, it's just recognize which ones go to which skin, and it's going to be interesting to see both of these in the game, especially with the uh, secondhand saber, what combinations people are going to be able to make outside of the Uncharted world when it comes to, you know, how unique these are, because we don't really have that many, like, piratey saber type pickaxes in the form a game. And then finally, we also have Sully's new seaplane glider, and this one could actually be seen in that trailer from this exact snippet you can see in the background right now. So we'll be able to glide down with a pretty big glider in order to, you know, just match this Uncharted collaboration and just have a lot of cool stuff to go down with it. It's pretty big, and we've seen this with a lot of collaborations recently, like, you know, the Master Chief collaboration, uh, Star Wars collaborations. They tend to, you know, have these very unique gliders that are very massive and get underused because a lot of people like, you know, the smaller gliders that don't draw that much attention to them. So whether you will use this in games or will not, it's totally up to you, but I thought I'd just mention it here since it is something that I see a lot of people being iffy about. And then for the final thing in this collaboration that we are aware of, the update journal emote. Now it has a description of, let me just jot this down, and we don't actually have a video to share with how this emote looks as of right now. Epic Games did not share that, it wasn't in the trailer, but it is an emote that's going to be a part of this 
this collaboration. And now based on the placeholder, you know, descriptions and everything from before they actually changed stuff on the official video, it appears that all this is going to go down between February 17th and February 18th. So you can expect to find the cosmetics in the item shop around February 17th at Shop Reset, and around the 17th as well, or maybe even the 18th depending on their description, we should see the Uncharted Treasure Map, also known as Drake's Maps, appearing on the Fortnite Island, as not only are they going to be, you know, the revamped treasure maps we talked about in the past, codenamed Rover, but they are going to be our way to do one of the upcoming Week 11 challenges. So with that said, if you enjoyed today's video, going more in depth on the whole entire situation, giving you guys visualizations of what the upcoming pickaxes and stuff might be, consider subscribing not only to this YouTube channel to support the content I create, but if you want to go a step further and watch some commentary style videos, or maybe it's a Let's Play, maybe it's a rant, consider subscribing to my commentary channel just called Fire Monkey, which should be linked on the homepage, or you know, we'll have a recommended video at the very end of this video. I'd greatly appreciate it, but with that said, I'll catch you champs and champettes tomorrow where we talk about some upcoming free rewards you can get in Fortnite. Peace out.